Hello, Joel Blessed here from the Inspired Church and Outreach Ministry. Something I want to share today. Every day, you are loved. Every day, I am loved. I know some days it's hard to imagine. <laughs> I know some days it's difficult for us to, to feel that way. My wife gave me this little thing a while back. It says, every day, I love you. And I put it on my chair downstairs where I sit at our table. And today it really spoke to me. And I know she loves me every day, but I, I do feel there are days when she doesn't love me quite as much. Because <laughs> I'm a, you know, I have my ways and I'm grumpy. And this, but it means a lot, you know. But I had to come today and it struck me that every day God loves you. Even on your grumpiest day. Even on the days where you kind of turn him off, you know, and go about your own ways. Even on the days where you're angry and you're upset, God loves you every day. Every day, you're loved. Hallelujah. You know, um, God loves me every day. Even on the days where I don't feel like like being a part of this, that, or the other. Even on the, the days where I'm sad or stressed out or whatever it may be. You see, every day we're loved. We're God's most magnificent creatures. He put time into you. Thought into you. The way you look. The way you move. The way you speak. The, the, the way your brain works. The way your body works. God put time into us and it doesn't matter how we behave I mean not that it's good when we're behaving badly but ours is a God of love ours is a God of true love who gave his life upon a cross that we could have eternal life every day you're loved and as society as the world comes and goes and people come into our lives and sometimes we feel loved and sometimes we don't. We have to remind ourselves. We have to get into the word of God. We have to grind in and hold on to the fact that every day God loves us. Every day is a gift. It is mercy from the Father that, that we're able to share that love with someone else. You see, ladies and gentlemen, you're loved. I'm loved. And yes, it's fantastic and, and, a, and a blessing from God to have people in our lives who love us. But the most important love that we can grasp hold of, that we can take to the grave, is the love of Jesus Christ. It's the love of the Father. So every day we need to strive to create, keep that love alive. Every day we, we need to keep that fire trying to burn within us. Every day we need to wake up and we need to say, thank you, Father, for your love. And though we go through the rest of the day and sin occurs and we get angry and we get frustrated and perhaps things come out of our mouths that they shouldn't or thoughts roll around in our heads that are shouldn't, that does not stop the love of Jesus for us. The devil loves nothing more than to get us confused and doubting the love of God. So ladies and gentlemen, today we got to stand firm in our relationship with God. Maybe someone hearing this message, you never said yes to him. You know that Jesus died upon a cross for your sins and you've yet to turn your life over to him. Just say, Jesus, come into my life. Just talk to him. Say, come into my life, forgive me of my sins, make my home in heaven with you. I need this love. I need your love. I turn my life over to you. And hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen, that is when our life begins to change and we have a relationship with the Father. A love that is everlasting, a love that never turns its back, that never speaks evil. My wife gave me this wonderful little plaque that says, every day, I love you. Thank you, Kukio. It's a great reminder. A reminder of the love of, you know, a wife to a husband, a husband to a wife, but also a love that every day God loves us too. He gave his son for us. So ladies and gentlemen, your love today, you may not feel it in the flesh, 
but feel it in the spirit. Open yourselves up to the love of the Father today and allow his love for you and the way you are and the way you behave and the way you talk and the way you move and the way you look to radiate through you so that you can touch other people's lives. Hallelujah, we are loved. We are loved sometimes, perhaps not in the flesh, <laughs> or at least we feel that way, but we're loved in the spirit. We're loved by the creator. Hallelujah, you're a beautiful thing. And God put time and effort into making you and creating you. So praise God, I pray this blessed you. Dear Lord, we come before you and we thank you for your love. For us, the sinner, you created us, you directed us, you, you, you made all the way that we move and we think and we talk. And Lord, we thank you that even on the days where we misbehave, on the days when we're not as good as we should be, on the days that we're full of anger and hate or whatever it may be, Lord, you still love us. You're still there. You're still caring. So hallelujah, God, we give you praise today. That we're loved every day. We're loved every day. We're loved every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you. God bless you. You're loved every day. Bye-bye.